Okay, so I'm recording this video just to further illustrate, because I did not think it was going to give us this much trouble, but to further illustrate how to uh, convert, we'll say, between slope intercept form, so y equals mx plus b, and standard form, ax plus by equals c. Okay, so let's say we're going to go this way, right? And if we're going to go that way, let's say we had, I don't know, y equals 3 over 2x minus 5. And I'll put that in parentheses so no one gets confused, right? So if I wanted to convert it into standard form from slope-intercept form, right? Well, we see what's by itself in standard form, c, the constant. Right? So, that said, that's what we're going to try and get by itself. Our constant is our y-intercept, this minus 5 here. Okay? So, the inverse of a positive 3 over 2x would just be to subtract. So, now I've got negative 3 over 2x and then a positive y on the left is equal to a negative 5. Okay? Now, the reason we've got these capital letters here for coefficients uh, is because we're implying that we do not want fractions like that one. We also, and I, I'm not going to nitpick too much about this, but we also want a positive leading coefficient, right? Here we have a negative leading coefficient. Okay, so what I can do is multiply everything by 2 to get rid of that fraction. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I've got negative 3x plus 2y equals negative 10. Okay, and then, right, if we're going to be proper about it, we want a positive leading coefficient. Again, I don't care if you have a negative leading coefficient in standard form. I really don't. But depending on what math book you read, right, they want it positive. So I'm going to multiply everything now by negative 1, which basically just means I change the sign of everything. And there you have it. AX plus BY equals C. Okay? Now, let's say we were going the other way around. Let's say I had standard form, right? So standard form here. So let's say I had 4X minus 5Y equals 16. Okay, and let's not do 16. Let's do 15. Why not? Okay, so now we see that, well, of course, in slope-intercept form, y is what's by itself. So all I need to do is get this y by itself. So I'm trying to go from here back to over here, right? So I'm going to do minus 4x to both sides because this is a positive 4x. So I've got negative 5y equals 15 minus 4x, or if I want to, I could also write that as, I could also write that as uh, negative 4x and a positive 15, okay, and the reason I can do this is the commutative property, right, and also because the x comes before our constant, which is the y-intercept, so I'm kind of being proactive there, then to get rid of this multiplication by negative 5 so that the y is isolated the way it's supposed to be, I'm going to divide everything by negative 5. So y equals negative 4 over negative 5x uh, minus 15 over negative 5, which would be negative 3. Okay, this here has a double negative in it, right? And you're probably wondering, well, how did I get it that way? Kind of skipping steps. And I'm assuming too much here. So negative 4x all over negative 5 like that. Okay, so let's take care of the double negative first. So that would just be a positive. Right? And it still doesn't quite look like this, right? Because what is m? Okay, so in this case, m is this fraction here. So what we've really got, right, if we kind of zoom out over here, we've really got 4 over 5 times x over 1, or quite simply, y equals 4 over 5 times x minus 3. Hence, y equals mx plus b. That would be our final answer. Okay, so 
that pretty much covers it for this video. That's I just wanted to have that out there just in case any of you were having trouble with this. Um, obviously, if you need to see more examples or have any other questions, uh, let me know. Goodbye.